Hello, and welcome to another edition of Trogley's Guitars. Today we have a 2011 Gibson Les Paul Standard Plus top. So uh, this is a really cool guitar. It's in a very unusual finish for a standard that you'll see here. Yeah, but let's look at the case first. Uh, standard Gibson USA case. have one, two, three, four, and a fifth latch on the back as well as a nice handle here. Uh, what's kind of unique about this is it has a little loose piece of like kind of padded rubber or leather, fake leather, whatever it is. Uh, it's really comfortable to uh, grab onto so that's nice that they're starting to pad them again. So inside sleeps this gorgeous, uh, it's almost appearing black but it is blue. Let me turn up the brightness here so you see what color it actually is. It's a very gorgeous dark blue with a nice flame top underneath it, which is quite amazing because when I had first bought this guitar, I thought I was just buying a plain top blue one. But no, it's got a very nice flame top. There we go. Overall, this guitar is in good condition. There's just one major thing to note, and we'll get to that later here. Inside here sleeps, uh, looks like some of the original warranty work. But enough about the case. It's a good case, it has some wear and tear there, you can see, but nothing out of the blue. Okay, so once again, Les Paul Standard, Premium Plus, nice flame top, dark blue color. Almost appears black at certain angles. We'll take a look at the headstock. Just uh, your typical standard here. You have a little bit of wear, but nothing too bad. As you can see it reflecting in the light, mainly just some polishing scratches. Now on the fretboard, there are some cracks in it, as you can see there. They're, they might not even be cracks, they just, they just might be very porous wood. I've had lots of guitars that have this. Usually they're a bit older than this, but it doesn't appear that it's going to cause you any issues. I just recently oiled this one, and it doesn't affect the playability at all. However, I do want you to know that they are here because, once again, when I bought this guitar, this was not disclosed. But it's really a non-issue. It almost kind of gives it a cool vintage vibe to it. But the frets are in great shape, very little wear. You have your PAF reissues in there. Just pickups. Now you got a lot of uh, scratches on this guitar. If you were to get one of those scratch removers, you might be able to get some rid of some of these polishing scratches here. But you've got this gorgeous flame top underneath this guitar. But, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to see compared to, like, a uh, sunburst guitar. There you can see all the picking scratches. However, they, they don't seem too deep, so you should be able to get rid of them if you use the right stuff. But gorgeous guitar. It's really something you have to view up close in person to fully see it. But it's just like ocean waves. It's very cool. The back of the guitar is the same color, a nice dark navy blue. Let's see your serial number there. Uh, no major wear up here. You have Cluson style tuners. Now on the neck here, uh, you do have an indentation. That'd be at about the third and fourth fret. You can't really feel it when you're playing, but just so you know, it is there. Other than that, I mean, it's fairly clean on the neck here. And the back has some scratches as well. Looks like a little ding right there. Ding there by the cutaway. Some nicks and dings there some wear down here by the back plate. 
as well as on the plate, and some scratches there. Now we'll turn the uh, brightness back up here. However, you know, from far away, it looks fairly clean, but once again, it's kind of like a black guitar. They scratch very easily, or they show the most minuscule of scratches. Uh, pots in here are everything original. What's unique about this one is it does have uh, push poles right there. So very cool feature to have there. I didn't even know this guitar had that until I just took it apart. But overall, very cool guitar. As always, thank you for watching, and you can contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglies, T-R-O-G-L-I-S. That's where you can discuss my best price available, as well as answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.